welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Trading Card Corner. And tonight, I've got something rather interesting here. Tonight, I'm going to be taking a look at a set of sticker cards from Topps. Now, for those of you who don't know much about trading cards, or you just never much cared, Topps, as a company, were known for three things. One was having amazing sports cards. Another one was having amazing television and movie cards. The other one was doing, like, gross-out gross out kind of stuff. The the big one for that was the Garbage Pail Kids. Well, around 1991, when the Garbage Pail Kids fad was starting to slowly die, Topps was desperate to find something that was going to fill that void. And tonight we're going to be taking a look at one of those sets. Say hello to Toxic High School. I understand that you can't see the school because they got this giant black smear on there. I don't know why, but almost every Topps trading, trading card box I have found has this giant black slash through it, and I'm not... Totally certain why. I'm probably going to have to look it up. But just to show it is called Toxic High School, right there is the title. Uh, this has 48 packs in it. This is from 1991. And as you guys can see, this one is not in the shrink wrap. When I bought it on eBay, uh, this one did not have the shrink wrap in it. It actually was the cheapest one, probably because it didn't have the shrink wrap. But it does apparently still have all 45 or 48 packs in it, rather. Let me try to pop through all the perforation here because I kind of liked how last time when I had one of these boxes I uh, was able to do the uh, store shelf look by putting it up there like that. Now let me take a look at one of these packs. We'll grab one of the ones up front here which has the Toxic High School uh, seal on it as you can see. These only have five, five stickers each but you guys can see they only cost 25 cents and they were also rated PG for pretty gross. I have no idea what the hell is going to be in these things, guys. Also, uh, this is sort of weird. Tops, Tops usually did uh, packs with more of with more of a wax paper kind of a thing. This is almost all like plastic. It literally is just like shrink wrap. It feels kind of odd. So why don't we bust open this pack? Don't want to damage the cards. Come on, there we go. I don't want to fold these damn things. Okay. So what do we got here? Hygiene class. He wouldn't wait for the bell to ring. Oh, yeah, let me get that in, into frame there. Yeah, so apparently a student pissed so much he flooded the classroom. That's how magical. Uh, on the back is uh, a hygiene class quiz. Also smeared in urine. Let's move on from there. Music class. A difference in musical taste. And uh, you can see the little punk fucking rocker there. Actually, a lot of these guys are like punk rockers, but take a look at the one there who's uh, puking on the shoulder of what I can only assume is supposed to be the teacher for music class. On the back is a, another music quiz. So, let's see what else we got in here. The cheer, the cheer, you know, leaders. They spur us on to victory. Uh, okay. I kind of sort of like how the one that looks like it's covered in pimples and sores is being hugged by a gorilla, and they obviously are an incredibly, incredibly pro-congressive school, because they have an obvious trans folk right there. Along with a dog, and someone with a really long tongue, and, you know, a cyclops? Okay, that's interesting, alright. Uh, on the back of that is, uh, the different Toxic High Cheers. <laughs> All right, well, that, they're sort of cool. Uh, right here is the first card in the set, or the first sticker, rather, because these are all stickers, which is the school symbol, as we saw on uh, one of the other packs. Looks sort of cool. What's on the back? Oh, this actually gives us uh, the checklist. Wow, they actually put the checklist on the first card. They usually save that for the last. Anyway, why don't we see what else we got here. The school nurse. He had, or rather, all he had was a hangnail. Okay. That is sort of cool looking. Um, oh, and then we have the uh, class file for Warren Lugnut Cropsey, who lives in Toxic Town, USA, and all his different visits to the nurse's office. All right, that actually is sort of cool. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna crack open the rest of these. Uh, I'm not even sure how big the set is. How big is the set? Sixty. Wait. Is that 64 cards? Yes, it is. 64. I'm going to see if we have an entire set, and I'll let you guys know if I get everything. So, see you guys in a few minutes.
Before I start opening up more of these packs, I just saw this on the back of the wrapper. Toxic High School poster offer. All 92 Toxic High School seniors lovingly depicted in full color gruesome detail. This 18 inch by 24 inch poster is printed on super deluxe glossy white white paper. Ooh, fancy. Suitable for framing. Shipped rolled in a protective cardboard mailing tube. To order your poster, send a check or money order for $5 postpaid, your name, address, zip code, and birth date to Toxic two tops toxic poster da, 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 da. um i'm going to assume that they don't offer those anymore but that might actually have been sort of cool would it give me something i could have hung on this uh little you know wall here to sort of make this whole thing look kind of sort of decorative just sort of thought i'd share that i just saw the uh free poster offer and it seemed or well not free but you know the poster offer and it seemed sort of cool all right, so uh, apparently they offered more than more than just the poster on these packs. You could also get a free stealth bomber. Well, not really, but now that we've got your attention, a free toxic high school newsletter. Smaller than a stealth bomber and made of paper, but a heck of a lot more fun. And no pilot's license re required. Get all the latest word on Warren and the rest of the graduating class from America's most toxic learning institution. Pictures, words, paper, ink, and more. For your newsletter, send a stamped self-addressed envelope and your birth date to... And then it's the same address that they had for the poster. So, so Tops, um, do you have any of this shit, like, in stock? Because... Again, that might be something worth kind of reading. That sounds like it might be sort of cool. Well, guys, it seems that Tops really did want people to get that poster for Toxic High. There's actually a card in the set that is nothing more than an advertisement for the poster. Right here is sort of what the poster looks like. I know you guys can't really see that too well since... Uh, the card is incredibly small, and if I were to try to zoom in on that, it would probably just look awful. That is sort of cool, though. Again, I kind of wish I had a full-size one of those I could put on this back wall here and make this whole video look, or make this video series probably look a little bit better. But, yeah, at least I actually got to see what the poster looks like. It looks really cool, too. Well, guys, I am halfway through opening these packs, but I don't have to open them any further. Take a look at this. This is the entire set. This is all 88 cards, man. I am really kind of surprised that it, that I was able to get the whole thing in the first half of the box. That means that there's probably at least another set buried in there, so I'm probably going to have to open all these just to find that out. But I cared more about if I had a full set in there by default, and what do you know, I totally do. Now, I showed you guys this card earlier, the one talking about the offer for the Toxic High poster. I even showed you the fact that they have that same offer on a whole lot of the wrappers. They really wanted you to, to like like that class photo you see here the uh, back end of the set is nothing but student photos and the back has like little bits of information on each student it's actually kind of sort of cool but the checklist for that part of the set is yet another picture of the toxic high senior class photo I don't know why they absolutely insisted on absolutely beating us over the head with that with, with that image. I mean, granted, it's totally cool and everything, but, you know, you really didn't need it in there twice, plus, plus shilling it out on half, a, on half the wrappers in your fucking box. Now, about this set, I do need to make a couple of comments. First one does have to do with the wrappers. I talked about how they've got this weird plastic sort of a wrapper, and I'm going to tell you, this is probably one of the worst card wrappers I've ever seen. For, for one thing, let me just grab one of the unopened ones and I'll show you. You can actually see, if you look in there enough, you can actually see in that little clear space, you can see a little bit of one of the cards. If you actually know what the backs of all these cards look like, then you pretty much know one of one of the cards immediately, which kind of sort of kills the whole blind, blind pack feel of doing these things. So we do have that issue. The other one has to do with the fact that the wrapper itself, as you can see here, I kind of had to tear into this one a little bit a little bit rougher rougher than normal because when you're going to do a plastic wrapper like this you normally want something that's easy to tear open which is what you see today in a whole lot of the current trading card wrapper god i've noticed my camera's got a real fucking like stabilization problem every time i wave something in front that's just weird anyway 
They normally have like a wrapper where there's like areas you can grasp on top in order to pull it open. They, they don't go for the traditional wax, wax fucking paper style wrapper because it's very difficult to get it off because the damn things, as you can see again, let me grab that pack again. It's almost completely like vacuum, almost fucking like vacuum sealed around the cards and trying to tear it open. In fact, hell, why don't I rip open another pack on camera just so you guys can see this. First of all, it tears in a really awkward fashion, and you really don't want to bend, bend, or crease the cards. And so, you have to really fight with it in order to make sure that you get it off without any problems. Let me see if I can find the one other problem that some of these had. Uh, oh, well, right there's that student, student, or that senior photo again. Okay, well, right here, it's not that bad, but I do have to talk about how the card numbering on some of these is really jacked up. Now, right here, you can totally tell that that is a 9, because it's a black number in front of a lighter color background. Now, if I were to go through the main set, I think, uh, I think it was card number 30 is, like, one of the hard ones to really see. Let me find number 30 here, and you can, ah, there it is. I don't even have to look at the number to know, but right in there, guys, I'm not sure if you can see it in there, there is a 30 in there. Let me actually turn the light on on the camera, and you can barely make it, oh, well, that shines, oh, well, actually, now I can see it a hell of a lot clearer, but you can see right there is that 30, and about, and maybe about a quarter of the cards have done this, where, where they've gone with black numbers over a darkened background, instead of, I don't know, putting the number on, like, the back of the card, or putting it on the border somewhere. Instead, they, they they do this. And what makes this even weirder is the fact that you look through some of these other cards, um, trying to, oh, or they also do do sort of like this, where the number isn't in, in, in one of the corners. Let me turn that light off. That's just, that's just irritating. Um, they don't put the, they, they didn't put the number in one of the corners. Instead, they jacked it in the middle of the fucking card. That just looks so odd. But also, this also shows that they also swap between white numbering and black numbering, and it just, and it just looks odd, man, you know, but hey, you know what, none of that honestly matters, because I was able to get my hands on a full set, and god damn it, I'm really happy, and I was able to actually read up, uh, read over the backs of some of these cards as I was opening them, and what is here is really smart, really funny, really, really, really witty, makes me honestly kind of wish that we'd have gotten a second set of Toxic High, Instead, we got something else a year fucking later, and uh, as soon as I get a box of those, I'll probably film it and put it up. Uh, I actually do have a box of that uh, follow-up to this coming coming in coming in the mail. Uh, it's actually not a direct follow-up to Toxic High, but it was Topps' attempt at another gross-out series in 92. But I'm going to save that for a, another time. As for Toxic High School, considering the fact that you can buy a box of cards for next to nothing. Swear to God, guys, this probably cost me about 12 bucks. You can totally buy an entire box, be guaranteed at least one set, probably two, considering all of the extra packs that are sitting in here. In fact, guys, just, just, just look at this. I want you to see how deep in I went. I didn't go that far in to get a full set. So if you're looking for one set for you and maybe a set for a friend or a family member, or you want to give one as maybe like a joke to somebody, you can totally do that. It'll, it'll, it'll cost you next to nothing. And as for the cards themselves, well, stickers, these things actually are stickers, believe it or not. Um, they actually do, they, they, they actually are really, really nice, nice quality stickers, and the cardstock is really, really sound. This thing, guys, I think is one of the lost gems from Tops. Probably lost because of how the damn things were wrapped. Jesus God, that wrapper sucked. And the more I see this offer for the poster, the more I actually kind of wish that I had the fucking poster. So yeah, guys, I can definitely recommend this set if you can find it. And if you can find someone who's just selling the 88-card set without having to bust open a ton of packs, uh, go for it. This thing actually is a really awesome set. I am totally, totally digging it. A little later, I'm probably going to start cracking open all these other packs and see if I do, in fact, have a second set there. I probably will, considering the fact that I saw... Now, I now I showed you guys the full set. Right here are all the duplicates I got out of that, and most of these are single duplicates, so I've pretty much got about half... I've, I've got about half the set right here in duplicate form. So really, I'm probably going to have at least two and a half sets by the time I'm done cracking open all these. And that's sort of cool, because I think I know somebody who would really dig this set, and I'm going to give that to them, provided I do have a complete second set. So that, guys, is going to do it for this episode of Trading, of Trading Card Corner. Until next time, guys, take care. See ya.